guys um so i just wanted to do a q a just get to know me something very chill um i just wanted to do it on my bed different setting and i'll just be answering questions that you guys asked um there wasn't that many questions most of the questions that i got were related to juicing i see that you guys are very interested in juicing um so i'll go ahead and just answer them so first question is what's your favorite juice to make so i did make a video on my three favorite recipes you can go ahead and check it out i will put it in the description so go ahead and check it out my favorite i would say is like the top favorite would be orange and carrot combo love that second favorite is the celery apple and ginger that one is amazing and I'll, like i said i'll put it in the description what kind of juicer do you use i will also put that in the description as well i have my juicer for about a year now and it's in pretty good shape i dropped it so it's kind of like broken where the lid is but other than that it's pretty good and i have no problems with it i got it for 50 dollars on amazon and it's pretty amazing what how much vegetable juice should i drink a day i don't really know how much you should drink i think it depends on like your body weight and like you know your height and stuff like that for me how much i drink is about 30 millimeters a day well before I used to I am just not getting back into it and another question I saw was have you seen any physical changes since you started and I did once when I was juicing the changes that I noticed were with my skin my skin was very like like literally flawless I had very glowy clear skin I was not breaking out um, and then my hair was growing. I was in such good mood. I didn't have to drink coffee and I would wake up at 4 a.m. and I would be in such a good mood. So that's what I noticed physical changes wise. Um, but now that I stopped, I have noticed that my body's literally doing the same exact thing. Like my face is breaking out. My hair, I haven't noticed it growing. I just recently cut it in February. And since I cut it, I haven't seen any growth. Um, and that's when I stopped juicing, so I feel like it's kind of connected. I don't know. Um, but yeah, with that, so I am starting back juicing, so hopefully I will start to see changes soon. Um, let me see. I have other questions. They kind of repeat favorite juice combo. What's your favorite juice to make? What's your favorite drink? Let's see, it's a lot of similar questions. Oh, right here. Do you use this juice to substitute a meal? I do not. I actually, I'm trying to gain weight, not lose weight. So I do not use it to substitute a meal. I kind of just use it as a detox and just to get my nutrition and, you know, my juice, my veggies and my fruits, things like that. People do use it to replace their meal. But if you want to lose weight, go ahead and do that. I do not want to lose any weight. So I do not use it to replace any meals. So those are the only questions I see related to the juice. So now let's go ahead and move on to personal life. So one second, let me go to those questions. Those two polls that I did. So one question is, what are some methods that you use to maintain your positive energy? I really love this question. I, some methods that I use to maintain my positive energy. Um, One thing is that I trust God, like, Everything that happens, I know it's for a reason. Even if that second I'm like annoyed or I'm like, why is this happening to me? I just trust God and know that he does everything for a reason. That gives me peace. I also try to make everything positive. So if something bad happens, I'm like, well, God was looking out for me. That's why that happened. Like, you know, that wasn't meant for me, whatever the case is. And also I don't let anything like ruin my day. So for example, like, Back in the day, this used to be me. If like, let's say I spilled coffee or whatever on myself, I would be like, oh my God, I'm having such a bad morning. Like, of course this would happen to me and drag that throughout my whole day. But now like if something like that happens, I will really laugh, like I will laugh at it. And then I would just simply like move on from it. I would brush it off. I would not drag it with me throughout the whole day, which helps me stay positive and stay in a good mindset because I'm not dragging this little thing that happened for two seconds and not letting it ruin the rest of my day. So I think that's one. another thing that helps me stay positive. I also do gratitude as well every morning and I'm praying to God, I, I thank him for all the good things that happens in my life. The little thing is like my bed, my air conditioner, 
like just little things like that i will thank him and it makes me be more um happy with life and that's also something that helps me stay positive um yeah so that's a good question another question why made you want to start youtube great great question i love youtube i've been wanting to start my youtube channel for a while um since i was in high school i used to watch youtube all the time and <laughs> my sister's laptop like her old laptop while i was in high school it was she had a mac and every time she was like gone i would open it up and act like i'm a youtuber i'd be like hi guys welcome back to my channel like i would do that all the time and she would just be so annoyed this is something i was just so interested in and i always wanted to do it and just never did and college just life was busy not only that fear kept me from doing it as well fear keeps you crippled i swear um but i finally got into the point of my life where i'm like i do not want anything holding me back for what i want to do like i rather do something and you know if i feel at it, i fail at it or whatever the case is i rather give it my all than just live wondering like why didn't i do it or you know i'd rather do it and be happy that i did it than live with what if like i that's like how i'm going about everything in my life i will not let fear cripple me and my thing for 2020 was to be free let me be myself be free be able to do whatever i want and not let anything hold me back especially fear i know like fear is like a defensive mechanism so like your body will put fear in you to do so you want to do something because it doesn't want to experience that fear that, that feeling of like failure and like the disappointment feeling so fear would you know do that to like protect you basically so it's like your body's like natural like protective like mechanism thing defensive mechanism so i am like trying to be like nah fear you're not gonna control me like i want to do this i'm gonna do it like it can, it's definitely scary to do YouTube. Like there's people out there watching you, judging you, like judging how you're talking, judging how you're, you know, like your setup. It's just anything. They're judging every little thing, and there's trolls out there who are gonna have things to say. It's scary, and there's also those doubts. Like, what if nobody watches my channels? What if um nobody likes what I have to say? Am I even good enough for this? Do I have the right equipment? Am I pretty? You know, there's those those thoughts that definitely pop up but I choose to ignore them and be like nah I'm gonna do it because I have this feeling that I want to do this and I'm gonna do it I don't care if I am not like everybody else or if I started super late like by now it's 2020 everybody's doing it like will I be successful like yes I will I have to want it and I can do it so I know I'm going on like a rant but that's what made me want to start YouTube <laughs> good question and then there's another question. What's the secret to? We're not gonna answer that question. Um, okay. Let's see what else we got. Someone said skincare. Um, so it's just a skincare question mark. So, um, I think maybe like my skincare routine or like my skincare journey. Uh, I guess I'll tell you my skincare journey. <laughs> uh, so my skin has been good throughout my whole life i had pretty perfect skin like i don't really break out and stuff only like when it's like time of the month and like normal stuff um and then after college not even after college 2020 yo i think it's because maybe i stopped juicing or something like i don't know what it is but my skin's been worse like it's never been like this it's been breaking out and like i've been scarring i actually have an appointment with the dermatologist next week because this is not okay like i need to get this fixed um it's very serious to me because this like i did not break out so this is like a big deal i don't know what's going on um but i don't know if it's what i'm eating or what it can be so with my skin right now i am trying to find ways i have bought like products that i can try but i'm just thought like you know what i'm just gonna go to a professional have them tell me what to get what products to do and then once i get my skin great again then i can start sharing like my what i've done to get it great because before i didn't really have to take care of it as much it as much it was just good on its own so yeah it's kind of sucks um uh, so let's another question let's make this the last question 
All right, so the next question is what worst relationship you've been in, what you learned from it? I love. Um, so the worst relationship I ever been in is in college. And I was in that relationship for about two years, about two years. Um, I'm just gonna start off by saying like, I had no business to be in that relationship at all. Like at all. And sorry, just thinking about it, like it makes me laugh because I, but anyways, I'm just gonna say this. That relationship was the worst relationship I've ever been in, but that relationship has taught me so much. And because of that relationship, I am who I am today. Like I've grown so much from that relationship. I know what I want, what I will tolerate, what I will not tolerate, my worth. I I just know not I'm not playing games, like that relationship has taught me so much. But I am just so thankful for that relationship, to be honest, because like I said, I am who I am now, and now I know what I want because of that relationship. Like, I'm not I'm not gonna date just to date. Like, I'm not gonna talk to someone just to talk to someone. Like, my time is very important to me. And if I don't see any type of future or anything like that, like, I will, like, I'm not gonna be mean. Like, I will talk to you and stuff. But if if it's gonna if you try to take it that way, like I'm gonna tell you straight up, like nah, like not interested. Like I want a man of God. Like I want someone who's a go getter who is about you know what they say and treats me like a queen. And it's just I have a list and I can keep growing. But you know, like God knows my list and He's the only one that needs to my list. Um, but yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm thankful for that relationship because. Like I said, I am who I am because of it, and I have no regrets. Yeah, that is all the questions. Most of the questions are about juicing, surprisingly. Um, I guess you guys are really interested that about that. That is all for me today. I hope you guys like this video. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I was trying to make it pretty chill, like, you know, like, chill and relaxing, like I'm talking to a friend type of thing. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Um, make sure you stay make tuned. Make sure you subscribe because new videos will be up every wednesday and saturday um until next time bye guys